Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show on this <clears throat> Thursday, June 20th, 2019. And you know what? There's strong indicators that the economy is going into a recession rather quickly. Let's get started. Let's open up the charts right here, and let's take a look at the silver price. You know what? This is the best-looking silver price that I have seen in a long time. This makes me happy. 1537 bid and 1547 ask. $15.47. Almost halfway up through the 15 range. This this is the best it's looked in a long time. And <laughs> I tell you, I'm happy about this. Uh, let's take a look now at gold. See what gold's doing? Gold's up 24 bucks, and it's not coming down right away. You know, I mean, we've been through all this roller coaster before. We're happy, silver and gold go up a little bit, and then, boom, they fall back down to where they were again, and, and it disappoints us. <coughs> this has happened over and over and over again. So at this point, at this stage in the game, because this has happened so many times before, I'm a little bit hesitant about... Um, being happy i'm a little bit holding back i'm like uh i don't know it might fall tomorrow again i'm in that attitude but we'll see maybe this is the start of something the start of silver and gold coming out of their cage uh 1383 for gold oh that looks so much better heading up toward 14 dollars 1383.90 bid 1384.90 ask that looks so much better than, than what it was, you know. Getting up near 1400 bucks. I really like seeing that. Now, we're going to move on to cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is basically hasn't went anywhere too much in the last... It's went up a little bit in the last uh, 24 hours. But it's at 92.81 for Bitcoin. It's up 1.75%. And uh, cryptocurrency is, is really holding its own now. And it's really... Uh, the price is, is 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 stabilized in around this area. What it's trying to do is it's trying to break past ten thousand dollars. That's what it's trying to do. And uh, we take a look at cryptocurrency market capitalizations this morning. And what we see is two hundred and eighty eight point two billion dollars market cap, fifty seven point three percent Bitcoin dominance. We're going to take a look at the top coins here. And uh, we see uh, Bitcoin at 92.99, Ethereum at $269.34, XRP at 42.8 cents. Seems like XRP just cannot get any momentum to break 50 cents. So it's at 42.8 cents. Litecoin is $134.92. Bitcoin Cash is at $409.66. EOS is $6.76. Binance Coin is $36.55. Bitcoin SV is $215. Stellar is $0.12.2. Cents. Uh, Cardano is $0.8.8. Cents. Tron is $0.3.2. Cents. What is this? What is this? What on earth is this? Unis SED Leo. Leo coin? Where in the hell did it come from? Unis SED Leo. I've never seen that before. A dollar ninety. And it's in the number thirteen position. It says there's a billion Leos. What in the heck is Leos? I gotta find out about this, you know. I mean something moving to the thirteenth position and I never even seen it coming? A new coin, Leo. You must, let's just go and see what this is. Dollar eighty nine. Website. We're gonna. Let's see. The site will. There. Let's go to the website. What is this? Professional trading now open to everyone. Bitfinex. Uh, open account. Uh, I, I'm telling you, there's so much stuff happening. Uh, in in the, in this this coin industry uh, that uh, that you know I mean it's 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 like yeah uh, you're, you're kind of like gee you know what what the heck 
this is Bitfinex, uh, the site it took me to. Did Bitfinex really... I mean, it's all happening so fast, I can't keep up sometimes. This is taking me by a bit by surprise. Anyway... Now let's move on to the Dow Jones and see what the Dow Jones is doing today. 242 points up on the day so far. Let me refresh the page just to see which direction it's going. 244 points, 246 points. So it's moving up right now. It's moving up rather quickly. 246 points up on the day. Uh, you know, they know that the Fed's going to cut rates. And I'm expecting three rate hike cuts this year coming up uh, ahead you know the Fed is switching over they're they're changing into dovish monetary policy they're going back to uh, stimulating the economy so is the European Central Bank probably in Europe it's a day late and a dollar short they're going into a recession regardless of stimulating the economy uh, let's go and take a look now at uh, oil prices now this is a no-brainer you know the United States lost the drone this is the reason why oil's up hundred and twenty million dollars that's what that the that little airplane cost hundred and twenty million dollars now, you know, I know a lot of people, they, they open up the article, and when they think of drones, you know, their kids might have these little drones buzzing around the yard, you know, little tiny things. That's not what this was. This was a great big, I mean, it's big enough, it's big enough where it could probably carry a person on board, it, but they don't have it equipped to carry a person on board, obviously, you know, but it's big enough to carry people on board. I mean, this is a big aircraft. Not no tiny little thing. It's big and it's expensive and it, it does reconnaissance missions where it can spy. It, it's got cameras on, really expensive cameras and everything else. It's in international airspace, minding its own business. That comes out of our pocket. $120 million out of our pockets. Okay, now let's take a look at the U.S. Treasury here and see what the Treasuries are, are doing today. You know, we're seeing prices on the Treasuries across the board fall. And it looks like the biggest faller of all today is the U.S. one year at 1.89%. It's fell almost nine basis points. That's a big move in Treasuries. Nine basis points is a big move. Uh... You know, and, and we're seeing seven points in the sixth month. That's a big move, too. But the biggest mover today is that U.S. one year. And so the middle of the yield curve is moving a lot. And the outer ends of the yield curve are moving smaller amounts. But they're all falling. All the, all the yields are falling today. All the way across the board. Let's take a look now at uh, the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar is also falling today, and this is one of the reasons why we see a gold and silver catching a bid, is because the U.S. dollar is falling. And it's fell quite substantially. I mean, it was like yesterday, it was like 97 point something or another. Now it's 96 point something or another. That's a whole penny gone. That's a penny gone, you know? from the US dollar index uh, it's fell a half a penny it says there today so far you know and it's continuing to fall let's take a look now at this article here on zero hedge this is an, another economic indicator that the economy is going into recession they're calling for a, a uh, the trucking industry the U.S. economy's uh, 800 billion trucking industry. As U.S. economy collapses, the U.S. trucking industry has not experienced a downturn of this magnitude since the last financial crisis. Now, you know, this is a really strong indicator. It says that's what that's what Zero Hedge is 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 agreeing with my opinion that this is a strong indicator. 
It says, and this is one of the clearest signs yet that the U.S. economy is steamrolling into a severe economic downturn. When the economic activity is increasing, the trucking industry sees rising demand for their services, and freight rates tend to go up. This is precisely what we witnessed in 2018, and truckers were hoping for more of the same in 2019. But when economic activity is on the decline, the trucking industry sees decreased demand for their services, and freight rates tend to go down. Unfortunately, the numbers in the U.S. trucking industry that their numbers are reporting right now are absolutely abysmal. Freight rates have now fallen for six months in a row on a year-over-year -year basis, and according to the Business Insider, during the month of May, loads of on-the-spot, on-the-spot market fell by a chilling 62.6% compared to last year. Oh, my gosh. They've 62.6% lower for truck freight rates. That's a huge drop. It says this year has been rocky for the $800 billion trucking industry. After a raunchous 2018, 2019 has seen retailers and manufacturing, manufacturing moving less, according to Cass Freight Index. Freight rates have dropped and dipped year over year for six months straight. Well, you know, we've seen this in the Baltic Dry as well. Uh, we've seen a, a, a precipitous fall in the Baltic Dry. I haven't checked the Baltic Dry for about a month or so, but I should check it, the Baltic Dry Index. Uh, the Baltic Dry is a little bit different, though. This is the trucking industry within the United States of America, whereas the Baltic Dry is more like freight that's going back and forth between countries. A fall, that has fell. Can you imagine that? It's fell by a 62.6% a drop. This shows the magnitude of this recession that's coming. It's unstoppable. I do not believe that they're going to be able to hold it off through the election cycle. This is what I believe. They're, that they're not going to be able to hold... Cuts, interest rate cuts are not going to cut it. <laughs> not going to cut it. Anyway, listen... Thank you guys for listening to this report, and we'll catch you again very, very soon. Bye-bye, guys. Oh, and give me a thumbs up.